everybody. This is Carla from DIY Happy Home. Today is the Tuesday after Labor Day weekend and I'm uh, taking a break from homeschooling. Just a quick break to uh, make up some peanut butter rice crispy treats. And right now I'm gonna start with a, a stick of butter. My stick of butter looks wonky because it was a full like pound and I had to cut it into quarters. So that might be a little bit more of a, than a stick of butter. Uh, then I've got, where are my marshmallows? They're back here. And the kids uh, ripped open the marshmallows. So I might as well use them up before they get all too hard. So we're gonna wait, let me see what my temp is here melt this up and let's hope I don't melt my stand that I have on the stove. That would kind of be bad news. And it wouldn't be the first time I've done things like that. <laughs> that so I'm trying a marshmallow. Alright. Mm. Once the butter gets melted, let me get a spoon here. Gosh, I forgot I made a cup of tea over here. That's how crazy it's been. Uh, I have a Keurig and I made a cup of tea and I forgot to drink it. All right, it's starting to melt and I don't want it too high. Let me turn it down just a little. I'm gonna start throwing some marshmallows in. We're gonna start mixing this up. The, the butter is almost melted. And we don't want this. I'm going to put this on lower. I'm going to add a bunch of peanut butter to this to make them super yummy. All right, I'm going to stir this up. Now I'm gonna add, I definitely am gonna put it on low for when I add the peanut butter. And I don't want the marshmallows completely melted just right before. I wonder, let me get I'm gonna add, I have a cup measured out of peanut butter, but I'm gonna add half and see how it looks. I'm not gonna add the full cup until I see how it looks here. And I have some golden grams I might throw in. Cause that, that actually is my favorite cereal. <laughs> um, but you definitely don't want your peanut butter to burn because it gets a funky taste when peanut butter burns, so. We want that peanut butter flavor. Oh, it smells really good. Yum. It's coming together. Got my Rice Krispie treats. I didn't really measure them out. Let me, of course, my, my cup measure is already being used, so I have to go by half cup, half cup increments. You know, I think I'll add more peanut butter, but swirl it in whole at the end. I'm making this up as I go, can you tell? <laughs> uh, so there's two, two cups, two and a half. Whoa! Oh man, one got my candle. Um, two and a half, I guess, was that three? Oh, see, I don't know. I'll have to go back and review the footage and see how many I put in. I'm not going to gauge whether or not I want to add more. Yeah, I think I'll add more. I'm just going to add some more. There we go. One more cup. I think that's like five cups. In theory. Okay, 
looks good. Yum. Okay. Now I have a little more peanut butter. I'm just gonna kind of blob it in the end. Throw that in. If I had more marshmallows, I would add a couple of those so you can see the marshmallows. But unfortunately, I don't think I have any more marshmallows because my munchkins eat them all. Okay. And of course, I had to eat the peanut butter. Mm. Let's just try to lightly swirl some of that in. So that once in a while you'll get a chunk of peanut butter. And my apologies if you're not a peanut butter fan, I am. You could always use some butter or any of the alternative butters that are out there. Almond butter, tahini, which is a sesame. All right, real peanut buttery. You could always add chocolate to this, that would be great. And some other things. All right, I'm gonna get my pan, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna move the camera over a little bit. I turned off the heat and I've got my pan. I just threw some parchment in there and I'm gonna lay this out in there. This ooey gooey goodness. And I'll probably slop it all over the place because in true fashion, that's what I often do. I should probably spray the parchment, but I'm just gonna go with it. Wish me luck. Oh, I forgot the golden grams. Oh, maybe I'll add a couple to the top. And I should have sprayed the bottom too. Sometimes if you spray the bottom with some spray, it'll help keep that parchment in place for you. But I'm putting the parchment in so that it can just pop off easy, pop out easy and You could do this with any kind of cereal. Uh, if you have Cheerios left over or uh, Fruity Pebbles, some peanut butter added to Cocoa Krispies would be awesome. I didn't have that today, but that would be a great idea. And you could do a more shallow, like a little bigger pan, but of course your Rice Krispie treats will be like flatter. I like a tall, Rice crispy treat. So I put mine in. I believe this is an eight by eight or a nine by nine brownie type pan. So yeah, if I can uh, get a tall, I like the tall rice crispy treats better than you know. You can always cut them smaller, but that's what I prefer is a larger, like a taller rice crispy treat. All right. I need another spoon to get this off of here. Of course, I'm gonna try a bite. I'll give you my review. I don't know how I'm gonna write this down because I don't, I lost count of how many rice crispy things I put in here. All right, let's just grab a little and I'll tell you what I think. It's still gooey. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Definitely peanut buttery. It's definitely peanut buttery and it's a little bit less sweet than your typical rice, marshmallow rice crispy treat because of the addition of the peanut butter. But it's still sweet and yummy. Now I'm using like pretty good pressure here. I like to pack them in. I don't like a light airy. I like a dense rice crispy treat. And of course, when it's your kitchen, you can do whatever you want. But I'm probably gonna run into the camera here because it's right here. Oh my god, I'm not even on the camera. See what happens? See, see? Okay. There we go. And bam! They're done. That was quick and easy, right guys? I could add a couple. Should I add a couple of the grams on top? I don't know. Maybe I will. It is my favorite. I'll add it. Let's go to it. Let's do it. You can add some chocolate. I'm gonna try to scrunch these in. If I had the oven on, I could put a little chocolate 
chips on top and just warm it in the oven to melt it. And then these would stay. But I'm adding marshmallows, otherwise I would add, you know, let's just try to, try to crush this in and hope that they stick. In my last ditch effort to add my favorite cereal in. All right. I will let you know when they cool and they're cut up. Whoa, fail. Okay, when they're cut up, what they look like before we eat. Okay, I'll be back guys. I'm back guys. And for those of you worried, I did fish the Rice Krispie. Uh oh, is that another one? Oh no, there is. Oh, ow. Ah. I did fish the Rice Krispie tree out of the candle. Now I have both out, so we're good. <laughs> That's something I never thought I'd have to do. So anyway, um, I thought about it and I'm gonna add some. I gave my daughter the choice of either adding chocolate chips to the top or butterscotch chips. And she said butterscotch, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Hopefully these aren't old, let's see. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna sprinkle, not too many. I don't want it overpowering the rest of it. Gosh, these remind me really of like oatmeal cookies for some reason, as soon as I taste it. So I'm just gonna put a little on top and then I'm gonna throw this in the oven, a very low oven. I think I have it at, set like 200 or something. And I'm gonna like throw these in the oven just to let the chocolate melt on the top. Or I could just go crazy and have a ton, but I'm just gonna, I don't know. All right. So I think this will taste good with the peanut butter and the graham, my favorite, golden grahams. All right, I'm gonna try one with the chip. Mm. Yeah, it's a good combo. I'm basically making this up on the fly as I go, so I think that's cool with you guys. Alrighty. So as soon as my oven's up to temp, this baby's going in. Then when it comes out, I'm gonna like smooth it over, I think. I think I'm gonna like smooth some of the chocolate over to try to get my golden grams that I added to adhere as much as I can to the top of my peanut butter Rice Krispie Treats. Okay guys, I had it in the oven about five minutes and I'm just gonna try to spread Maybe it's not ready to spread yet. It is hot. Um, pan's hot. Try to spread some of the butterscotch around a little bit. And I might sprinkle some Reese's on the top. Reese's peanut butter, not peanut butter cups. Reese's pieces. But this doesn't spread as well as the, when I do chocolate like this. I guess the butterscotch have a different makeup. I love how my pan moves all over the place. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna spread them around. I'll give it a little flavor. And when it's cool, I will cut them up and show you guys before I try. We'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna add some Reese's Pieces peanut butter candy. They're like small ones. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on the top. I just I put it in the oven again to kind of melt the butterscotch. And I thought this would just make it festive for my kids to have a little color on the top. It also kind of shows that it's peanut butter. And also in case E.T. shows up. <laughs> I'm such an 80s, 80s child. All right, there we go. I'm going to, let me get a knife here. And parchment on my board. Let's see if this comes out okay. Let's move this out of the way here. Okay, this is how it comes out. And I didn't even have to oil the parchment, it looks like. That's um, coming out pretty easy. I'll get my larger knife here. Let me see if I can put it in my knife block here. There it is. 
me I can get longer strips. How big do I want to cut these? I'm going to just do a tiny one. I want a piece of the gram, golden gram in there. So some of it will stay on and some of it won't with my experiment. But I'm just going to do a part where I get a little bit of everything so I can try it and let you guys know what I think. Okay, it's not quite cool yet. It's still a little gooey. There it is up close. Let me see. Mm. Mm. Very tasty. The butter starch is strong compared to the peanut butter, I think. Mm. That's not overpowering. Not like too overpowering. It's pretty good. Here's my plate plate one up for you guys. I also like to cut a couple big ones. Let's move this knife over here. See how that when you put it in that parchment, how easy it is to get that out? Let's wipe my plate down. I already got peanut butter on it. See how nice these would be to serve? Look. Oh. I mean, a little crumbly, but hey. Hmm. Or for a movie night. Or for a peanut butter lover or a Golden Grahams lover. Mmm. Good stuff. What do you guys think? You can kind of see from the side. Gooey. Candy makes it a little pretty. What would you, or what do you add to your... Rice Krispie Treats. I want to know, please comment with what you like to put in your Rice Krispie Treats. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Please also feel free to share my channel. I would appreciate that. And thanks so much for watching today. Let me know uh, what you're making this fall and what some of your favorite uh, fall recipes are. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.